other rodents take more active steps to defend themselves, and one is positively dangerous. Darkness provides one of the best forms of defense, and it's very dark right now. The only reason you can see me in the middle of the African night is that we're using a starlight camera. So many rodents don't come out except under cover of darkness. And that applies even to one of the most ferocious and well-armed of all rodents. I think there could be one around here. an African crested porcupine seems to have found something to eat underneath that spiny bush most of the time those quills would be lying flat the fact that they're half erect is a sign that it's not too happy to have me so close Those long quills are very sharp, and I'm quite sure it knows how to use them. It's turning its back on me, but don't be fooled. That's not because it's about to run away. If it gets really angry, it'll attack by suddenly sprinting backwards. And it's off. That's not the sort of thing you want to stumble into in the middle of the African night. Porcupines feed mainly on roots and tubers, but they're big animals, and to find enough to eat, they have to travel long distances every night across open savannah, and that means they have to be prepared to take on all comers. This young leopard has probably never been close to a porcupine before, so it doesn't realize how dangerous it would be to interfere with it. The porcupine, on the other hand, seems to have total confidence in its armory. If it's not very careful, that naive young leopard will end up with a face full of quills. Porcupine goes back to digging for food. There's confidence for you. 